their 80 year old relics and still rolling. Thanks to volunteers who keep World War II history alive through the American armor that helped win our freedom. The noise, the mud, the thought of being inside one of them and being attacked with guns that were more powerful than your armor could stop. 50,000 Sherman tanks were mass produced by American car companies, not as strong as Nazi armor, but light enough to ship overseas in numbers that could defeat them. It was designed to be uh, maintained in the field. Uh, easily repairable. So all these things combine to kind of narrow that gap, the advantage that German armor might have had. But historians say the real equalizer were the brave tank crewmen. It brings back a lot of memories. Uh, I spent day and night. Now 96 years old, Jim Andriatis of Huntington remembers barreling through Germany. It was tough for an 18 year old. I look back at it and say, I don't know how I survived. The hatches were closed. It was terrible. The smell of uh, the shells. I lived in that tank. Fired on every day, 99 year old Julius Fiorini of West Babylon, a Sherman tank commander, is grateful he's still alive to honor those who didn't come home. It was, uh, it was tough. It was really hard and he never wanted to relive it. Today, a tribute to their courage and American ingenuity. It tipped the scales and it allowed this country to fight back the evils of Nazi Germany and defeat that scourge that was threatening our entire world. They were the armored fist of American forces during World War II, but they were also considered a death trap, prone to fires after being struck and suffered staggering losses. Those inside them who turned the war around war is hell. are called the greatest generation. In Old Bethpage, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS2 News.